Hello, this is William from Visual Components. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record a simulation and export it as an animation. To get started, open any layout you want in the 3D world. I have a layout open here. I'll now go to the simulation controls, click the setting arrow, and under simulation mode, you can either record the simulation in real time or in virtual time. In this case, I'm using virtual time. Now I'll click this icon here called export animation. This will open the export animation task pane. So for the recording, choose a frame rate. I'm going to use the default of 25 frames per second. I'll now click start recording. I now have to give a file name and where I want to export the file to. I'll use the default name for the layout. And notice here I'm saving it as an animation file. I'll now click save. This will automatically start the simulation and the recording. Now while you're recording the simulation, you can move the camera around. Don't worry, these are not recorded in the animation because everything in the 3D world is recorded for the animation. So after you've recorded the simulation for as long as you need to, you can go to the Export Animation task pane here and click this button to stop and save the recording. Or you can click this button here in the simulation controls or you can reset the simulation. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'll click Reset. And here's the new file. And notice the file extension, it's VCAX. So this is the animation file of the simulation. And you can use the Visual Components Experience app to view this animation. So you can install the app to an Android device or an iOS, as well as HTC Vive. In this case, I'm going to use an Android device. I'm now going to show you how to download and install the Visual Components Experience app to an Android device. In this case, my phone. I will start by going to the Google Play Store and searching for Visual Components Experience. In this case, I'm looking for the mobile viewer, which allows me to view those VCAX files. So there's the app. I will now click Install, and then click Accept. So this will download and install the app to my phone. And once everything is done, I'll go ahead and open the app for you. And when you first start using the app, I do recommend you learn how to move the camera. So I'll show you how to do that now. You can use a pinch gesture to zoom the camera. So you can zoom out and you can zoom in. One point of contact allows you to rotate the camera. And two points of contact that are close to each other moving in the same direction, you can pan the camera. So here I'm panning left to right along the horizontal axis. Now I'm panning up and down along the vertical axis. At the top, you can see a drop down menu, so open that example animation. And notice the viewer will open the animation and start playing it. You can see it's a robot picking some parts and placing them into machines. So, with that example animation, go ahead and practice moving the camera. So, here I'm rotating the camera to get a better view. And at the bottom of the viewer, you can see you have controls for the animation. So right now it's running, but I can click the play button to stop it and run it again. You can also reset the animation. And notice the slider and thumbnail. You can use that to you know, pick a point in time in the animation you want to go to, or you can reverse it or fast forward. And here we can see the robot picking the part and placing it into a different machine. I'm now going to show you how to open and view your own animations. It's really simple, you just need to have the file on your Android device. And when you open that file, it will automatically open the Visual Components Experience app. So in this case, I emailed the file to myself. You can either download it or open the file. And you can see when I opened the file, it opened the app. And now here's the animation. So this is the simulation I recorded earlier in the video. And I rotated my camera to now record in horizontal. Now, if you have any questions about the graphics, you know, I did not record this on my phone in full HD, so your animation will most likely have a lot better graphics when you view it on your own device. All right, this concludes the video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to visit our forum at forum.visualcomponents.com, and I hope you have a wonderful day.